even members of county assemblies who have defected from the parties that sponsored them to their current seats can now breathe a sigh of relief after an Akuru court temporarily stopped county assembly speakers from declaring any member of county assembly seat vacant due to defection. Nakuru High Court Judge Joel Nkugi issued the conservatory orders on grounds that the petition raised substantial questions of law, which he directed to be heard by an uneven number of judges who will be appointed by the Chief Justice. County Assembly members and members of Parliament who are on the brink of being kicked out of their elective seats after defecting from parties that sponsored them to their elective positions in the 2017 general election will continue to serve in their positions and enjoy their parks. This despite Article 194 of the Constitution and Section 14 of the Political Parties Act stipulating that if they resign from the sponsoring political parties, they automatically lose their seats. Judge Joel Ngugi, in a 23-page ruling delivered today at the Nakuru High Court, ordered a freeze on declaration of vacancies in seats where members had defected pending determination of the case. Kabazi Ward MCA Dr. Peter Mbai had moved to court to challenge the outcome of the party membership changes after Nakuru County Assembly Speaker issued a communique on the resignation of MCAs who had defected in mid-February. The law says that anybody who moves, who resigns from a party, loses the seat. But that is for the normal working of the five-year term. But when there is, towards the general election, when the IBC has already pronounced itself on the new timelines towards preparation for a general election, then that law, that clause does not apply. That was our, that was our request before the judge. Judge Ngugi, in his ruling, argued that the petitioner had demonstrated that if conservatory orders are not granted, the political rights of citizens would be injured. Ngugi also saying assembly business need not be disrupted pending the determination of the case to protect the representation of citizens from the affected wards. The petitioner had raised questions that at the tail end of the term, no by-elections can be held. On Wednesday, Jubilee Party Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni wrote a letter to all 47 county assembly speakers, speakers of the National Assembly and Senate to have the seats of MCAs who had defected declared vacant. A position he stated a fortnight ago. I will write letters to the county assemblies, uh, asking them that... Um, they remain faithful to the law and the provisions of the law because the same must be triggered by the party and that is what we will do. Evidence of having moved on is the payment that was made and the receipt that was issued by the party. Judge Ngugi directed that the matter is referred to Chief Justice Martha Kome, who will in turn assign an uneven number of judges to hear and determine the case. Miriam Nyambura, Citizen TV.